adjustment procedures and methods. 1. Hydraulic operation of working parts. 1. Height adjustment of the header. Height of the header can be adjusted by the hydraulic handle. Lubrication oil used in the inner side of a lifting path can give the header an automatic descent. If the is high, then raise the header to increase the productivity. Otherwise, if the air is not high, lower the header to reduce the loss rate. Two. Height adjustment of back to the field machine. Height of back to the field machine can be adjusted when we control the flex range of the cylinder by hydraulic handles. 3. Rotation of the green tank. Rotation of the green tank can be adjusted when we control the flex range of the cylinder by hydraulic handles. 2. Clearance adjustment between snapping rolls. The external roller is adjustable. Adjustment mechanism is in front of the frame. Low starting screw and rotate it. Then the clearance will be changed. Generally speaking, clearance will be 6 to 8 mm when the average diameter of the straw is around 20 mm. And it will not over 12 mm. If the clearance is small, more straws will be squeezed and the rollers will be jammed. Otherwise, if the clearance is big, more grains will be broken and the rollers will also be jammed. Note, adjustment above for the actual conditions of crops. 3. Adjustment of transmission chains and belts. It is suggested that the V-belts of central shaft transmission box of back to the field machine and the transmission box back to the field machine should have a flexible capacity of 10 to 30 mm. Tightness of the V-belts can be adjusted through control of the tightening wheels. For adjustment of back to the field machine, there are two adjustment points in the cutting machine. One lies in the back of the machine, contacting the field that is named as wheel. It controls height of the cloth. Meanwhile, it has been adjusted before shipment and can be used directly. The other is named as lay-on roller. If there is a sliding on the belt, then you can adjust the spring by pressing the lay-on roller. Note, it is suggested that V-belts and transmission chains should have a flexible capacity of 10 to 30 mm. 5. Adjustment of the two small conveyors. There is a tightening device in the driven wheel of the two small conveyors. It has been adjusted before shipment. If it is loose in operation, then adjust the tightening screws. Same method is used in the adjustment of the big conveyor. Six. Adjustment of the green tank. If the upside of the green tank is not level, you can use the rod to adjust it. You can also close the gate by adjusting the rod. Seven. 
seven. Adjustment of the automatic spring on the wheel. It has been set well before supplement. If it cannot be extended automatically, check the path and use some lubrication oil. Spring compression cannot be over 10 mm. If it is too tight, the wheel chain will be abraised. It is suggested that oil should be injected often. Eight. There is an active plate between the green tank and the big conveyor. Clearance should be at least 20 mm during installation. 4.4 True running methods after installation and adjustment 1. Rotation test, slot engine and true run with small accelerography. Engage the main class slowly and make the snapping roller and back to the field roller rotate about one circle. Check whether there is a part bumped or abnormal noise. If this occurs, stop running at once and check the machine. Otherwise, we regard it as normal. 3. Check whether there are loose parts. If there is no trouble, then install safety protective covers. 1. Install protective cover on the left of the header. 2. Install protective plates on the bottom left and right of the header. 3. Install protective cover on the right of the header. 4. Install belt protective cover of the back to the field machine. 5. Trail running. Warning. Before start, no people are allowed to stand around the harvester especially standing in the back of the back to the field machine. 1. No people are allowed to stand around the harvester, especially standing in the back of the cutting machine. 2. Start engine. First run the harvester at low speed. If there is no abnormal noise, then raise the speed. If there is no abnormal noise in 30 minutes, then we regard it as normal. Note. Observe every part during machine running. 3. Operation of the hydraulic system. After start of the engine, operate every handle and check whether the lifting is normal. It is normal if the header and back to the field machine ascend quickly and descend slowly. For the green tank, it is normal if the tank ascends and descends quickly. Five, operation. Five part one, preparation and check before operation. One, operators must have a full understanding of the structure and the principles. He or she must apply correct method and operation regulations. Besides, technical safety regulations must be followed. 2. Operator must be qualified to operate the machine. He will be required to attend technical training and have a full understanding of the performance of machinery, structure, and use, maintenance, operations, and other skills. 3. The mast wheat harvest must be held to audit by agricultural department and must be in good condition during operation. Four. Operators must be understand the basic conditions of the field, such as corn kind, species, Mature degree, falling, lodging condition, load capacity, etc.